Did you happen to catch that explosion of news articles claiming that those longevity blue zones are actually based off fake data? Well, not so fast. That was based off a non-peer-reviewed preprint that won an Ig Nobel Prize, which is a parody of the Nobel Prize, not the real one. And the result of this was that people ate it up. They believed that it was fake, maybe because it's nice to not have to worry about staying active into old age, eating healthy, and maintaining those pesky social relationships that we see in Blue Zones. The preprint claimed that the longevity that we see in places like Okinawa and Sardinia is actually just the result of things like pension fraud, a lack of birth certificates, and just straight up bad data. Claiming that, quote, the majority, if if not all remarkable age records may be errors. For example, the preprint cites a Japanese 2010 survey claiming that 230,000 centenarians were missing, implying that they were dead and many families committed pension fraud to get the money after they died. But a sister study also happened at the same time, and this actually peer-reviewed study looks at both of them. They used different data sets. They went door-to-door, -door, et cetera, and found that the true rate of missing centenarians in Okinawa in particular was 0%, meaning zero cases of Okinawan centenarian pension fraud, and this is one of the few prefectures that had that zero rate. Additionally, researchers have gone to Okinawa specifically doubting that there were that many centenarians and came back saying, quote, they really are that old. After rigorously verifying the centenarians there, pause to read all the things that they did, and that preprint even cites this study but completely ignores their findings. Similarly, the preprint makes a claim that another Blue Zone Sardinia was just completely lacking birth certificates, so all of that must be fake too. However, Dr. Gianni Pace, an Italian researcher who has been studying Sardinia since the 90s and has dozens of studies, says that we actually have the civil and religious records of these people being born. They can be cross-checked. Talking records since the 1880s, he says, quote, this double certification ensures that the probability of errors in the date of birth is virtually zero. Deeming this birth certificate claim ridiculous. And so why wasn't this peer reviewed? The kicker here is that an anonymous top demographer that I have verified as real says they actually were peer reviewing it for another journal and then they rejected it because it was riddled with issues. Well, there's certainly bad data sets out there like one in the UK that the preprint mentions, which clearly isn't a blue zone because it isn't valid. Now, there's a long list of criteria on the blue zones page and they particularly warn against relying on centenarian data alone. And this is important because I don't want people to ignore the major lessons from blue zones about being healthy. And there's also data backing those from other areas. Like just how social isolation is associated with 91% more mortality. So don't give up on things like eating unprocessed and plant foods and staying active and all that. Thanks for watching.